The topic of this video is related to the solid state relay or SSR relay. What is the inside? What is the advantages of using this kind of the relay? And what's the difference between the SSR and electromagnetic relay like as the usual relay? In the end of this video, actually I will explain how can I make one SSR by yourself practically. So let's go to see this video. What is difference between common relay with the electromechanical switch and solid state relay or SSR? This is the common relay. And this is the one SSR based on the electronic switch. But what is the features of each of them? Low switching speed for common relay make more noise inside the one circuit short life cycle due to the electric arc but in SSR you don't have these problems first of all fast switching speed second noise immune Third, no electric arc due to the electronic switch and need the heatsink. What is inside of the one SSR relay? The circuit of the SSR relay is like as this. But how does it work? The solution is the one electronic components under name of the triarch. The schematic of the one triarch is like as this. Triarch is the electronic component with three pins. This is the triarch with three pins. The first pin is A2 and the second one is A1. And the control pins is the gate. You can apply one pulses that we say that the triggers. When the triggers apply to the gates, then the AC or DC signals can pass through A2 to A1 and vice versa. Is work like as the one key. But what is the opto triarch? This is the schematic of the one opto triarch. And this one is the one real one. There is the one LED with the anode and cathode and one triarch is work like as the one switch. The gate is get the trigger by the light of the LED. Usually the LED is the infrared LED. The opto triarch is consisted of the one infrared LED and one triarch. The gate get the trigger by the light of the infrared LED and you can control the opto triarch by sending the pulse or trigger to the LED. The signals can be like as this. What is zero crossing technique? You imagine you have the one AC voltage like as this. And you want to detect 
any zero point in this signal and you make a pulses or triggers. Usually, the zero crossing is working in the triad triggers. This technique determines zero points in AC voltage. But what is the benefit of the, this technique? You can apply these triggers to gate of triad, triad that go to the turn on. So let's go to the draw and design one SSR circuit. You need the one DC power supply. Usually it's 5 volts, but it depends on you and the, your design. You need the one opto triac with the one LED and one triac that I explained before. You need the one key, one resistors for the current limitation, and another resistors for the limit current limitation again. We need the one triac that we choose BT136, one bulb, and one AC voltage. And amount of each resistor is 330 ohm. Then the part number of opto triac is MOC2030. We connect the positive of power supply to the anode of diet and the ground should be connected to the ground or cut off the LED. Then the A2 of the opto triac after passing the resistors connected to the A2 of triac. The A1 of the triac is connected to the gate of the triac. Then the AC go to the A1 like as the one switch this triac is working then from the A2 is connected to the ball let's go to make the circuits in the lab I hope I can answer some of the, your questions in your mind in related to the SSR relay. So if you like the, this video, please subscribe this channel and press the like button of this video. Thank you.